Okay, let's talk about the Die R2. Okay, so in the box, it's uh, it's very, very simple what you're gonna be getting. Um, so when you go ahead and open it up, you're gonna have the actual uh, R2 itself. You have your user manual and you have your warranty card. So don't lose this, don't ever lose this. Uh, you need to make sure that you fill this out and send it in. Uh, they already have it where you can just put your stamp right there and you're good to go. Um, that way, if there are any issues, you're still gonna be under warranty. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. There's nothing else in the box. All it is is it's gonna be uh, holding it in place there. So that's all that those little holes are. Um, some people like to hold on to the box and uh, use it as a transport. Um, personally, I'm going to be using my, um, like a loader case, so that way it, it protects it a little bit better than uh, cardboard. Uh, this is a very sturdy box, but you got to think about when you're throwing it around in a gear bag, it's not going to be too good. The R2 is a uh, step up on the, uh, the original model. Um, there's some cool features in here, and what's great is that you don't have to stick with those. So it's actually, there's one thing that personally I am going to turn off, and I'll explain that uh, either in this video or in a future video. But it's super durable. So when the rotor first came out, Billy Wing, when he was showing it off, uh, was taking this and like throwing it at the ground. Um, I saw people actually playing football with it, and uh, they dropped it a bunch of times and it still didn't break. So the R2 is, is just, it's an improvement on the, uh, the original rotor. Um, and now they have the uh, rotor LTR, which is kind of a, a reimagining of the original rotor. Um, so if the R2 is not in your price range, that's okay that there's the uh, LTR as well. Uh, but getting back into this, it's a super durable design. I mean, uh, Billy Wing actually put it in water to show that it would still work, and then he took a blowtorch to it. I highly recommend going and watching that video. Uh, it's somewhere on the Die YouTube channel, uh, but it's, it's entertaining. So inside the R2, it has this spring ramp in here. Now what I really like about this spring ramp is rather than having the spring in the front of the, uh, the loader, um, Dai was really thinking in regards to how the, the hopper needs to work. Rather than having the spring in the front where it pulls the, the, uh, the paint up in the front, uh, as less weight because you know as you're shooting you're, you're gonna have less paint in your hopper It's gonna pull up like that. So it rolls into you know the actual mechanism um, the, the downside with that that I had with other hoppers that I've used that have that system is When you're when you're pulling up to shoot because you're never really shooting flat You are sometimes but it's it's gonna be kind of rare it's when you're pulling back that you get the paint that falls to the back of the hopper and there's nothing to, to help coax it into the actual mechanism itself. So what's great with the R2, and this is something that they brought over from the original rotor, was that back, um, that back system. So that way when you're, when you're pulling back, if there's any paint that somehow maybe rolled past the, the mechanism, the actual gear itself that, uh, uh, well in here it's, it's the rotor, uh, that spins around and uh, pushes the ball into the gun. They have um, incorporated that design that it's gonna push it into there. So that way you don't come out to snap against somebody and maybe you only have those 12 balls left and they're all in the back of the hopper. This way it's gonna push it forward. So again, it's gonna come with a, uh, a normal lid. Um, they do have other ones for sale and I'll, I'll show you how to actually swap that out in a future video. A really cool feature is that you don't need to buy any extra um, shells or anything like that if you want to have a larger one. Let's say you're going against a team and you really need to lock down the field. Just like this, in this design, it's going to hold 200 balls. All you need to do to make it go up to 260 is you slide this over and pull it up and it'll lock in and now I can hold an extra 260 balls. It's not going to be a whole lot extra tall um, to, to hold that extra, but it's gonna be enough that it's gonna assist you with uh, getting that extra paint in the air. And then if you wanted to mid game, it's very simple. You just slide this back over to the left and kind of push it back down and then push that back over and it's now locked in place. So depending on maybe if, if again, it's, it's the end, end game situation and you guys are up by two points and you just need to hold the lane, um, you're gonna be able to, uh, to do that. Um, 
Uh, and then, you know, afterwards, if maybe you need to play front and you just want to have a very sleek hopper, uh, you can have that 200 uh, design like this and not have to worry about anything sitting up a little bit taller if you're playing the snake or something like that. So what's cool is that you have all of those, those different preferences. As always, they have the, uh, the fin here. You can hear it kind of moving around. Basically, it's an anti-jam fin. Um, that's gonna be moving the mechanism around. Let me show you real quick. So taking off that front part. So you have your normal uh, rotor part there. Now the actual arm itself, they have the anti-jam fin. Um, as with the, the previous rotors, they've just incorporated all the really good stuff in there from before. Um, and then also, I'm hoping you guys can see that, see if I can move it around a little bit. There's this other fin in here, so that way it's gonna be a little bit more gentle on paint. There's like a little black piece off that blue piece. Um, so it's still gonna be the anti-jam, so that way when you pull back, it's gonna push the ball up out of the way, and then you don't have to worry about the jam anymore. But then also if you're shooting really brittle paint, it has a very soft arm right there, so that way it's not just pushing it through. It's gonna be a little bit softer on it. Um, so. I'll go through in a future video how to actually take this apart, but I hope that this helps you guys out if you're looking into the R2. It's an awesome hopper. Um, it's one that I'm, I'm glad that I'm able to, uh, to be a part of a team that uses these. I started uh, with Dai, like I had mentioned before, when I played with the uh, Palm Beach Vipers group of teams. Um, so I'm excited to be back with them. They have great products. It's always been stuff that I like, and the rotor has always been a, a tried and true design. Uh, so it's, it's cool to be able to be a part of that. So I hope that this helps you guys out. If you have any questions about the R2, be sure to put a comment down below. And as always, remember, watch, learn, win. Thanks.